Hi, and welcome to Kixie. In this video, I'm going to show you how call dispositions work with Salesforce in particular. Now, in the description, you'll see a link, a very important link, to how to set up your Salesforce so that call dispositions log within your Salesforce. If you don't do this, then when your reps log dispositions using the Kixie Power Call right here, it will not appear in Salesforce, so you cannot run reports that have to do with those dispositions, and your reps will not be able to see the dispositions of the past calls they've made when they look at a given contact's profile. So they don't have that useful context of past activity with the contact. So it's very important that you do that, but if you don't, you will still have the analytics of dispositions in the Kixie dashboard that I will show you uh, in this presentation as well. So you'll be able to see the dispositions that they've logged even though they're not in Salesforce on the Kixie dashboard. So let's keep going. Here's how call dispositions work, first of all, from the point of view of the user. So here you can see I'm in Salesforce. I'm in a list view that I've been calling down and I just called Bruce Wayne and finished the call with him and I want to log a disposition. So here's what I do. I click, in, I click on what was formerly just the add a note button, but it is now add a note and a disposition button, this blue one right here. So I'm gonna do that. I can log a note that's gonna log into the notes and attachments section if I want to, but I can also log a disposition. I can log any one of these preset dispositions, which are ultimately customizable if you wanted to change them around, uh, just email support at kixie.com and we can set your particular accounts uh, list of dispositions according to what you want. But these are the default. And so let's say I scheduled a demo. That was the outcome of the call. That was the disposition of the call that, um, you know, at the end of the Bruce Wayne call. So that's what I would do. I would click demo scheduled and optionally I can also add a little note to that. And I'll show you what, that's look, what that looks like in Salesforce um, when I click plus to log the disposition. It's been logged. And to see what that looks like in Bruce Wayne's contact, I'll click into Bruce Wayne's contact and scroll down. And you can see right here in the activity history we have the original logged call, the answered outbound call that contains the recording that you're used to with Kixie, and then also the disposition right above it. So it's really useful as far as looking back on the history of this contact, I can see um, that this call that's right under that disposition was a demo scheduled call. Um, so the dispositions visually look that way to a rep. Um, let's go inside of one. So you can see here for reporting purposes, what's being logged is a completed task of the type disposition. And we've added a custom field here called call dispose, which contains the actual call disp disposition that uh, was left on this call. So for reporting purposes, I can run a report um, as such. So that's what it looks like from the point of view of the rep and how it's useful to the rep. Now, Obviously, you can do reports in Salesforce, but you can also do reports in, uh, or you can view a disposition leaderboard in the back of Kixie. So log into Kixie.com with your admin account, and you can see the dispositions for any given period of time, let's call it the last 30 days, of all of your active reps. So I can see the relative numbers. I can see who is scheduling the most demos. I can see who is completing the most demos. I can also see a very useful stat, who is not disposing their calls. Because when a rep doesn't dispose a call, it's going to add one to the not disposed column. 
So if I've given the instruction, hey, um, everyone's got to start logging these calls in the following manner, every call has got to log it, and I see that one agent's not doing that, I can get on his case, his or her case. So um, from the point of view of the sales manager, very useful here. And also what's very useful is uh, being able to zero in on listening to important calls. So what I mean by that is probably the most important calls that you, uh, that you have here are maybe demo scheduled calls, something that the rep has disposed as demo scheduled um, or demo completed. Let's go with demo completed. So I want to listen to my rep's demo completed calls because those are the bread and butter. Those are the ones that I want to show to the reps that I'm going to onboard and uh, that's going to give me the best sense of how my reps are doing, listening to those calls. So I can go into the call history for my entire account and I can search for the disposition in the search field. And you can see it's showing me only calls that have demo in the title for the disposition. So I can go demo scheduled or demo completed just by using the search field and I can listen to these particular calls, um, you know, zeroing in on them and only listening to those calls that are disposed as such. So that's uh, from the point of view of the sales manager, how dispositions are very useful. If you have more questions, you can email us at support at kixie.com. Also, if you want to customize your disposition list, you can do that as well. You can also call us at 424-800-3330. And again, look in the description and to see how to set up your Salesforce uh, so that the dispositions log inside of Salesforce itself. Thanks so much and have a great day.